in the procession that is uh, now just finishing. We have uh, cardinals, archbishops, bishops, and various liturgical assistants, masters of ceremonies, candle bearers, deacons, and many other assistants. About 70 in all. There are 34 cardinals, 18 bishops, and over 300 priests all concelebrating uh, this mass. The water savers are from the International Ecclesiastical College, Zedes, Zedes Sapiencia. As the name suggests, it is an international uh, seminary here in Rome. So we are seeing here pictures of the Wolifa, the icon that is the image of the Holy Savior. It is one of the church's most ancient and venerated icons. This particular item on display is a replica which was made with your attention to the medieval exit the new icon looks like the, the old one and consists of a painted image as you can see there on the screens of the savior seated on a throne with two door panels it has just been incense the painting of the central wooden part refers to the idea of the shepherd resurrected from the dead. It is always on display uh, during the during the Easter Sunday Mass. And the deacon there has just been intoning, the Lord has risen from the tomb when the, the Lord has risen from the tomb who for us hung upon a tree and the assembly responding Alleluia. And then the deacon also said, It is true, the Lord has ridden and he has appeared to Simon. Once again, the, the, crowd, the assembly responds Alleluia. And now instancing the icon. That is the icon of the Holy Savior. The original is kept in the chapel of the Scala Santa here in Rome. And the, the icon actually belongs to a body of Christian icons which are said to have come into existence miraculously, not made by the hand. By the 8th century, the Holy Savior icon was already a subject of great veneration by Christians. In nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Pax Vobis. Fratelli e sorelle, Brothers la gioia dell'annuncio della resurrezione del Signore giunge a noi Easter dalla veglia pasquale, brings us the joy of new trasfigurati dalla luce del risorto by the e in comunione the Lord con tutti i discepoli di Cristo nel segno dell'acqua facciamo memoria del nostro battesimo per partecipare in novità di vita al banchetto eucaristico. The Holy Father inviting the faithful in a penitential act by way of asperges, that is the right of sprinkling a congregation with holy water. And the choir sing there, I saw the water flowing from the temple from the right hand side, Alleluia, and all whom this water can and to all whom this water came were saved and shall say Alleluia, Alleluia.
Onipotente ci purifichi dai Almighty peccati God, e per questa celebrazione dell'Eucaristia ci renda degni di partecipare alla Messa del suo Regno nei secoli dei secoli. Kingdom. As the Holy Father concluding the Asperger's Rite, that is the sprinkling of water. And now, the Gloria. Oremos. Deus que odierna die, per unigenitum tuum, eternitatis nobis aditum, de vita morte, reserasti. Da nobis quesumus, uque resurrecciones dominice y solemnia colimus, per innovación de tu espíritu, in lumine vita resurrecti. The per il nostro Gesù Cristo, un Cristo un figlio to eternity, che vive e regna in unità di Spirito Santo di Deus per ogni secolo e secolo may through the renewed may through the renewed renewal brought by your spirit rise up to the light of life through our Lord Jesus Christ your son who lives and reigns a reading you, from the Acts of the Apostles forever and ever Peter addressed Cornelius and his household. You must have heard about the recent happenings in Judea, about Jesus of Nazareth and how he began in Galilee after John had been preaching baptism. God had anointed him with the Holy Spirit and with power. 
And because God was with him, Jesus went about doing good and curing all who had fallen into the power of the devil. Now I and those with me can witness to everything he did throughout the countryside of Judea and in Jerusalem itself, and also to the fact that they killed him by hanging him on a tree. Yet three days afterwards, God raised him to life and allowed him to be seen, not by the whole people, but by certain witnesses God had chosen beforehand. Now we are those witnesses. We have eaten and drunk with him after his resurrection from the dead. And he has ordered us to proclaim this to his people and to tell them that God has appointed him to judge everyone, alive or dead. It is to him that all the prophets bear this witness, that all who believe in Jesus will have their sins forgiven through his name. Verbum Domini. So we just listened to the first reading from the book of the Acts of the Apostles. And now we have the responsorial psalm, which will be led by the Sistine Chapel. This is the day made by the Lord. We rejoice and are glad, and it is the Lord is risen. Questo è il giorno che ha fatto il Signore. Rallegriamoci ed esultiamo. Rendete grazie al Signore perché è buono, il suo amore è per sempre. Dica Israele, il suo amore è per sempre. La destra del Signore si è innalzata, la destra del Signore ha fatto prodezze, non morirò ma resterò in vita e annuncerò le opere del Signore. La pietra scartata dai costruttori è divenuta la pietra d'angolo. Questo è stato fatto dal Signore, una meraviglia ai nostri occhi.
the Responsorial Psalm. This is the day made by the Lord. We rejoice and are glad. And now the second reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians chapter 3. Lettre de Saint Paul apôtre aux Colossiens. Frères, si vous êtes ressuscités since avec le Christ, you have been recherchez les réalités d'en haut. C'est là qu'est le Christ, back to the true life with assise Christ, à la droite de Dieu. You must look for the things that are in Pensez heaven, aux réalités d'en haut, non à celles de la terre. At God's right hand. En effet, Let vous êtes passé par la mort be on heaven, et votre vie reste cachée not avec on le Christ en Dieu. That are on the earth. Quand paraîtra le Christ, died, votre vie now, alors vous aussi, you have vous paraîtrez avec lui dans la gloire. Mais où est Christ telling a short narrative story of what happened on the resurrection morning. It is often chanted in Gregorian melody. At one time, there were many sequences in the church on solemn liturgies. Today, we only have a few. So this is the sequence now. prepare to listen to the gospel as the choir intones the Alleluia acclamation, the gospel acclamation. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed, therefore let us keep the feast of the unleavened bread of purity and truth. Alleluia. And viewers who are just who have just joined us through the Mondo Vision telecast. My name is Father Paul Samasumo. Welcome to the live broadcast of the Easter Sunday Mass presided over by the Holy Father Pope Francis here in the Vatican St. Peter's Square. In all, we have more or less about 150 international broadcasters all linked up to the Easter celebration of the Lord's resurrection here in the Vatican. A very special day. It is indeed.
Dominus Vobiscum. Et Spiritu Tu. Lectio Sancti Evangelii Secundum John. The Holy Gospel according to John. And we are reading from John chapter 20. Deacon there, incensing the book of the Gospels before reading the text. Prima autem sabbatorum. It was Maria very Magdalene early on the first day Mane, of the week and still dark when Mary of Magdalene came to the tomb. Et she saw that the stone sub had been moved away monumento. from the tomb and came running to Simon, Simon Peter Petru, and other disciples, et ad alium discipulum quem the one that the Lord loves. Et dicit eis, to lerum dominum de monumento, she said, et nescimus ubi possu erum teum. Exit so ergo Petrus Peter set et ille alius with the other disciples, to go to the tomb. They went together, but the other disciples, running faster than Peter, reached the tomb first. He bent toward and saw the linen cloth lying on the ground. Non tamen in but did not go in. Venit ergo et Simon Petrus Simon Peter, who was following now, came et in troivit in went into the tomb, et videt saw the linen cloth on the ground, et and also the cloth that had been over eus. his head. Non this was not with the linen cloth, but rolled up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple who had reached the tomb first also went in. He saw and he believed. Till this moment, they had failed to understand the teaching of the scripture that he must rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. And now the same reading will be taken in Greek. The original language in which the gospel we have just read was written. First, there is the liturgical dialogue between the deacon and the Holy Father. Wisdom, standing, let us listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you and with your spirit. Ecto kata Ioanni, aio evangelio to anagnosma. Praise to you, Lord. Praise to you. Roscomen. Let us listen. Tide mia ton sabaton Maria i Magdalini erchete proiscotias et iusis istomni mion che vlepi ton lidon irmenon ectumni miu trechiun che erchete pro Simona Petron che proston alon mazitin on e filio Iisus che lei aftis Iran ton kirion ectum nimiu, que o kidamen puedican afton. Exilcen uno petros, que o alos matitis, que ir con dois tom nimion, et recon de idiomu, 
Ke o allos matitis pro edramen, taxion tu Petru, ke ilsen protos, istomni mion. Ke para cipsas vlepi kimena, ta donia, umentis ilsen, erci te un, ke Simon Petros akoluzon avto, ke isilsen istomni mion. Και θεωρείτε αδόνια κείμενα, και το σουδάριον ο είναι πίτη κεφαλή αυτού, που μετά των αδονίων κείμενων, αλλά χωρί εντετελειγμένων ει ένα τόπο. Τότε ούλη ήλθεν και ο άλλο μαθητή, ο ελθόν πρώτο ει το μνημείο. Και είδεν και πίστευσεν. Ουδέ πογκάριδησαν την γραφήν, ότι δι' αυτόν εκ νεκρών αναστήνε. Father, the Holy Father will kiss the book of the Gospels and bless us with it. So we listen to the Latin version and the Greek version. And before the reading in Greek, as happens in the Eastern liturgies, there is a dialogue between the Holy Father or and the reader, the deacon, uh, together with the assembly, acknowledging the word that is to be read to them, the gospel that is to be read. Ordinarily, on Easter Sunday, the Holy Father doesn't give a homily. Uh, he will give the Easter message during the OB at, at o, uh, rather the the, uh, the the Easter message. Pardon me. The Easter message during the Urbi at Orbi blessing uh, that takes place at noon after this Eucharist. So this time, the Holy Father uh, is inviting us to some quiet um, meditation to think about the messages that we have been reflecting on during these last days of Good Friday, Holy Thursday, Good Friday, Holy Saturday, and today, Easter Sunday. Last night during the Vigil Mass, the Holy Father, Pope Francis, reflected on the women who were on their way to the tomb. And they were wondering about who would lift the stone for them. In his reflection, Pope Francis said, there are times when we also feel a great stone blocking the door. But that only Jesus can move this stone. The creed.
fratelli e sorelle, in questo giorno ho fatto un nuovo della risurrezione del Salvatore, supplichiamo il Padre perché rinati dall'acqua e dallo Spirito siamo portatori nel mondo della luce del risorto. Of the risen Christ to the world. We are now the part of the prayers of the faithful, sometimes known as the bidding prayers. And our response to the Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the Holy Church. In Arabic, Father of the risen Lord, you redeemed us by the death and resurrection of your Son. Make the church a witness of hope and grant that by the grace of your Spirit she may comfort those experiencing discouragement and adversity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And now we pray for the newly baptized in Spanish. Father of light, in baptism you made us your sons and daughters, guide the newly baptized in obedience to your will, Acogidos por la comunidad, crezcan en la escucha de la palabra, en la oración asidua, y en la caridad operosa. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the gift of peace. In Tamil, Father of the Redeemer in Christ, you have reconciled us to yourself. Make us heralds of peace. Grant that all families may, be, may live in peace and harmony and all conflict and injustice in our world may come to an end. And now we pray for persecuted In Portuguese, Father of the Savior, in your Son you have conquered evil and death, strengthen all Christians who experience hate, threat and persecution, grant us they may be sustained in faith and perseverance, and inspired to pursue the paths of dialogue and reconciliation. And now we pray for all families. Father of the Messiah in your Son, you have made your family guide parents in their efforts to entrust the Christ to entrust Christian education to their children. Grant that the children and young people may be docile and open in faith, and that even home. Even, and that every home may be filled with the good fragrance of Christ. O Padre, che con la resurrezione di Cristo nostra Pasqua hai tolto da noi il lievito vecchio per diventare pasta nuova, and made us new creation, grant that we may celebrate our baptism with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth through Christ, who is our Lord. So we just concluded now the prayers of the faithful taken in various uh, languages there, praying for the church, for families, for the newly baptized, for peace. And already you can see from your screens, families are uh, taking the offertory to the Holy Father. We 
prepare to enter into this moment of the Eucharist, the offertory, and with the bread and wine that are being presented, we too present ourselves before God's altar that we may be transformed into the body and blood of Christ. No doubt you can see also on your screens uh, these beautiful flowers. Today, St. Peter's Square has been transformed into a beautiful flower garden. The flower arrangements are befitting as a backdrop to this special day of the resurrection of Christ. We have these flowers thanks to the generous contribution of Floris in Netherlands. In all, there are 35,000 flowers and plants all shipped from Holland to the Vatican. This is something the Dutch florists have been doing for the last 39 years. The floral tribute by the Dutch florists began in 1985. You have also seen the Swiss Guard formations and also a battalion from the armed forces of, the Ita of Italy. These will present uh, arms, or rather they will be a head of honor just before the Urbi et Orbi blessing at midday.
as the Cardinal is incensing this autumn, our prayer also is that this incense will remind us that we, we too are God's holy people, His holy temple. We are images of Christ and we pray that we too will rise up, will rise up like the incense. God who is our Father. Orate fratres ut meum ad vestum sacrificium acceptabile fiat apo Deum Patrem Omnipotentem. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of your name, for the good and the good of His holy church. Sacrificia Domine Pascalibus Gaudis Exultantes Exultant with Paschal Gladness, O Lord, vivus we offer the sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished. Through Christ, who is our Dominus Lord. Bobiscum, Sursum Corda, Gratias Agamus Domino Deo Nostro. Dignum et justum est. Vere digno metius tu mes, ecum es salutare, te quidem domine omni tempore confiteri, set in ac potissimum die gloriosus predicare, cum pasca nostrum immolatus es Christus, ipse enim verus est anius. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world, by dying he has destroyed our death, et vita resurgendo reparavit. Qua propter profusis pascalibus gaudis, totus in orben terrarus mundus esultat, set es superne virtutes ad che angelice potestates, in num glorie tue concinum sine fine dicente. As the choir sings the Sanctus, that is the Holy Holy, um, the Eucharistic prayer that will be used at this Mass is Eucharistic prayer number three, and you will find it in Sunday Mass. It will be in Latin, but you can follow the same prayer from your Sunday Mass. The Eucharistic prize, Cardinal Battista Ray, at the altar, he's the Dean of the College of Cardinals. Et merito te laudat omnis a te condita creatura, quia per filium tuum dominum nostrum Iesum Christum, Spiritu Sante operante virtute, vivificas et santificas universa, et populum tibi congregare non desinis, 
o tan solis ortu usque ad occasum oblatio mundo oferatur nomini tuo. Supplice sergo te domine de precamur, o tec munera quetivi sacranda de tulimus, e oden spiritus santificare dinieris, ut corpus et sanguis fiant, ili tui domini nostri Iesu Christi, cuius mandato ec misteria celebramus. Ipse enim in qua notte tradevatu, accepit panem, et tibi gratia sagens, benedixit, fregit, dedicque discipoli suis dicens. Accipit et manducate ex hoc omnes, hoc est enim corpus meum, quod provovis tradetur. Simili modo, posquam cenatum est, accipien scalicem, et tibi gratia sages benedixit, dedicque discipuli suis dicens. Accipite et bibite ex eo omnes, ic est enim calis sanguinis mei, novi et eterni testamenti, qui provovis e promultis e fundetur in remissionem peccatorum. Hoc facite in mea in commemorazionem. Memore sigitur Domine, eius den fili tui salotifere passionis, nec non mirabili resurrezionis et ascensionis in celum, set et prestonantes alterum eius adventum, offerimus tibi gratias referentes, hoc sacrificium vivum et sanctum. Respice quesimus in oblazionem ecclesie tue, et agnosem ostiam cui svoluisti in molazione placari, concede, ut qui corpore e sanguine fili tui reficimur, spiritus eius santo repleti, unum corpus et unus spiritus inveniamur in Cristo. Ipse nos tivi perficiat munus eternum, ut cum electis tuis ereditatem consequivaleamus, in primis, cum Beatissima Virgine Dei Genetrice Maria, cum Beato Iosef Eius Ponso, cum Beatis Apostolis Tuis et Gloriosis Martiribus, et Omnibus Sanctis Quorum Intercessione Perpetuo Apud Te Confidimus Adiuvari. E costia nostre reconciliazionis proficiat Quesumus Domine, a Teotosius mundi pacem atque salutem. Ecclesian tuam, peregrinantem in terra, in fide et caritate firmare dinieris, cum famulo tuo Papa Nostro Francisco, cum episcopali ordine et universo clero, et omni popolo acquisitionis tuem. Votis uius familie, quantibi a stare voluisti, ad esto propizius, omnes figlios tuos, ubique dispersos, tibi clemens pater miseratus coniunge. Fratres nostos defunctos, et omnes qui tibi placentes ex hoc seculo transierunt, in regnum tuum benignus admitte, ubi fore speramus, ut simul gloria tua perenniter saciemur, 
per Christum Dominum Nostrum, per quel mundo bona cuncta largivis. Per ipsum et cun ipso et in ipso, est ibi Deo Patri Omnipotenti, in unitate Spiritu Sancti, Omnis honor et gloria, per omnia secula seculorum. Great Amen there, Recepti salutaribus the moniti et divina istituzione formati, audemus dicere. The College of Cardinal invites us to pray the Lord's Prayer, the Our Father. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress and the heat of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Domine Iesu Christe, cui dixisti apostolis tuis, pacem relinco ovis, pacem meam dovovis, ne respicias peccata nostra, set fidem ecclesie tue, e anque secundo voluntatem tuam pacificare et quadunare dignieris, cui vivis e regnas in secula seculorum. Amen. Pax Domini sit semper vobiscum. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Offerte vobis pace. And the deacon they are inviting us to offer a sign, a gesture of peace uh, to whoever is with us, wherever you are. You can acknowledge that person or just people who are near you with a gesture of peace. We see the various priests now taking our positions and witness for Holy Communion as the choir leads us in Agnus Day, Lamb of God.
Ecce Agnus Dei, ecce qui tollit peccata mundi. Beati qui a cena mani vocati sunt. Domine, non sunt dignus, sunt dignus di sentare con me, se da tanto mi verbo e se sarà di anima mea. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. So the Holy Father, the various ministers of the altar, come up and take the Holy Communion, and Holy Communion is distributed to the congregation here, the various cards that are here. Still coming, some of you in readiness for the OB at OB blessing that will take place at midday, 4 o'clock on time, for 12 hours of the life. The choir leading us in a communion antiphon Christ is our Passover, the Lamb sacrifice. The Lamb sacrifice, therefore, let us keep the feast. Alleluia, alleluia.
so we know that wherever we are probably watching or listening we cannot uh, physically receive holy communion but we can always pray that we receive spiritual holy communion oh jesus i believe that you are truly present in the most blessed sacrament i love you above all things and i desire to receive you in my soul since i am unable to receive you come at least spiritually into my heart and never let me be parted from you in case you're just joining us this is the live broadcast of the Easter Sunday Mass we are slowly coming towards the end of the Eucharist uh, we are now the part of Holy Communion but uh, remember that after this Eucharistic Mass, after this Eucharist, there is the Urbi et Orbi blessing at midday here in Rome from the Holy Father, Pope Francis. As we celebrate Easter, it is one of the most joyous days in the Christian calendar, the day that celebrates the most wonderful event in the history of humankind, Jesus Christ truly risen. For Christians, the resurrection of Jesus is the crowning truth of our faith in Christ. It is faith believed and lived as the central truth by the first Christians and also that we continue to this day and that we read about in the whole in Holy Scripture. The resurrection is actually part of the Christian faith handed on as fundamental by tradition and established by the documents of the New Testament. Oremos. <coughs> Perpetuo Deus da Eclesia, Antuam, Pio, Favore, Tuere, 
Luca Pogno chants, O oh God, with unfailing love and favor, so that renewed by the Paschal mystery, they may come to the glory of the resurrection. And now the Holy Father will give us uh, the final blessing. Dominus Vobiscum. Bow your head, bow your heads, and pray for God's blessing. Benedicta vos omnipotens Deus, odierna interveniente solenitati pascual, et a omni miseratus defenda tricursione peccati. So that in the compassion, defend you from every assault. Vos premis si malnotatis ad impia. E qui espletis passionis dominice diegus pascalis festi gaudi a celebratis adea festa que letizis per avontu di ternis iso o ipso pitulante exultantibus animes venie. Et benedictio Dei onipotentis patris et fili e Spiritus Santi descenda super vos et mania semper. We have the final blessing from uh, the Holy Father, uh, Pope Francis. In misa est, alleluia, alleluia. So our Eucharist has just ended, a uh, beautiful celebration indeed here in St. Peter's Square uh, with over 30,000 people in the square and many more still coming uh, through. A uh, beautiful decoration there of the flowers thanks to Doris from the Netherlands, 35,000 flowers and plants shipped in from Holland for this feast something they've been doing for the last 39 years and the floral tribute by the Nash Forest began in 1985 with the beatification of a Dutch Camelite Titus Brandsman, St. Titus Brandsman was beatified in November 1985 with the Martial of Faith and canonized as saint on 15th May 2022 by Pope Francis. The design and the arrangement of the flowers in the square was put together by those who work in the Vatican Gardens and the Environmental Service of the Directorate of Infrastructure of the Vatican City State. All of this was done under the direction of Daniela Canu, who worked in collaboration with the Dutch Forest and actually a group of biotechnology and floristry professors from Slovenia and their hard work is showing today. Among the many 
flowers, I'm sure I noticed that yellow okay, and white seem to prevail, no doubt, representative of the colors of the Vatican City State. We could say also in a sense that these flowers represent for all of us new beginnings, new hope, and a new faith in the risen Christ. Now the Holy Father, Pope Francis, are uh, greeting some of the cardinals who have been participated in this uh, Eucharist, 34 cardinals in all, 18 bishops and archbishops, over 300 priests, and many others helping as candle bearers, savers, and ministers of the altar, 70 in all. Lovely uh, celebration that we have had here. You did see formations of the Swiss Guards and Italian from the armed forces, they will be performing just before they all be at all be blessing at midday. The will be at all be blessing takes place from the balcony of the central loggia, that is where the Holy Father will come out to present his Easter message. You notice that during today's uh, Mass, he did not Easter message in the OB at OB takes the place of the family during the Sunday Mass. I was just saying earlier how Easter is important uh, for, for Christians, and this is something that we also read in the letter of Paul to the Romans, who says, For so if we have been united with him, We shall also certainly be united with him in a resurrection like him. We know that our old self has been crucified with him so that the sinful body might be destroyed and we might no longer be enslaved to sleep to sin. For he who has died is freed from sin. But if we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. The beautiful liturgy, Easter Sunday morning mass of the day, coming to an end. Christ is risen from the dead. He has conquered death. Normally, on a day like this, the Holy Father will. will Go on to his pop mobile. Yeah, there he is. And he's going to go around the crowds and greeting the crowds and the pilgrims who have come here uh, to celebrate Easter Sunday with him. So we see the Holy Father in his pop mobile and he's going to make the rounds. After he has done the rounds, he will go up. Uh, into the central water, that is the balcony facing the square, the courtyard here, to deliver the old being and old being a blessing. And uh, the crowds are very happy to see the Holy Father come to them at close range to greet them and to wish them happy Easter. Very intense three days starting from Holy Thursday, Good Friday, Holy Saturday here in St. Peter's. I'm sure you have seen and heard and have been edified by the various celebrations and solemn celebrations indeed that have taken place here in the Vatican. Of 
Pope Francis continuing to make the rounds in St. Peter's Square, greeting the pilgrims, the crowds, some of them overflowing to the streets nearby. They are going to stay on and wait for the Kurbi a Kurbi blessing to the city and to the world. The Urbi et Urbi blessings, um, mostly two of them at Christmas and at Easter, but also there are times such as when a new pope is elected and uh, special days, very, very extraordinary days. We saw in 2020 when the Holy Father, during at the height of COVID-19, he came out to an empty St. Peter's Square to bless the world that was suffering so much at the time from the devastating disease that was COVID and ravaging the world. So for now, what will happen is that this broadcast will be interrupted just for a while, um, probably roughly 30 minutes, as we go to prepare for the Urbi et Urbi blessing. Those following on television should continue to enjoy the Holy Father as he goes around. Uh, Reaching the crowns, um, some televisions will still, still be able to, uh, to see these pictures of the Holy Father as he is going around. But we shall be back. We shall be back at midday, just before midday, to prepare for the Holy Father as he presents the Easter message and will be head of the uh, blessing. Just a reminder that we will be back at midday with uh, the Urbi et Orbi blessing to the city, that is the city of Rome, and to the world, meaning all of us, wherever you are, will be able to receive this blessing. Very special thanks to our viewers, Mondo Vision viewers and Eurovision viewers who joined us for this podcast and um, also our usual partners, our official partners of EWTN, Catholic TV, Catholic Faith Network in America, Catholic TV, Salt and Light TV, Uganda Catholic Television, Shalom or Television Networks in the USA, Shalom TV, India, and Sunday Shalom at Madajan TV, Cyrus XM Radio New York, Luminous Radio India, and Radio Mania PNG. We will be back shortly for the OB, FRB, and for the poll Samsung.
Laudetu Jesus Christus, praise be Jesus Christ. Welcome to St. Peter's Prayer once more for those of us who were with, with whom we were at the Holy Mass just ended. A very happy and blessed Easter to you wherever you are joining us from. It is Easter Sunday and Christ is truly risen. It's shortly before noon here in Rome and soon Pope Francis will deliver the traditional message and impart on all of us the Urbi et Orbi blessing. The Holy Father Pope Francis just finished celebrating Easter Sunday Mass of the day here in St. Peter's Square and then he went round the crowds greeting those within St. Peter's Square and many others flowing out into the streets nearby. On behalf of Vatican News, I would like to welcome all of you joining us for this live broadcast to viewers from around the world. A special word of welcome to those joining us, uh, not forgetting our official partners of EWTN TV, Catholic Faith Network in America, Catholic TV, Salt and Light TV, Uganda Catholic Television, Shalom World Television Network in the USA, Shalom TV India, and Sunday Shalom at Madashan TV and listeners of Cyrus of Sirius XM Radio New York. Luminous Radio India, Radio Maria PMG. And to the many of you joining us through our Vatican News channels. The Vatican News, Vatican Radio app, Vatican News English website, YouTube channel, our Facebook live feed, as well as those of you tuned in through the parish, the Sun, National Catholic Radio and television stations across the world, including, of course, our shortwave radio listeners and other internet platforms. Welcome all. I'm Father Paul Samasumo. And it is indeed a privilege for me to provide you with today's texts and translations. What you are seeing now are the crowds in St. Peter's Square. They are happy to be here. It's Easter. And everybody wishing the Holy Father and wishing each other a happy Easter. One of the greatest moments if not the greatest feast within the, Christ, in, within the Christian's life. In just a few minutes, Pope Francis will deliver the Urbi at Orbi Easter address and impart the Easter apostolic blessing on all of us. The Urbi at Orbi address and blessing is the most solemn form of blessing in the Catholic Church and is reserved for the most solemn occasions, usually Easter and Christmas, and on the proclamation, for example, when newly elected Pope, uh, there are one or two other occasions. Urbi et Orbi in Latin, literally meaning to the city and to the world. The world here referring to the people, blessing extending to the world, world, to all of us on this Easter Sunday. Earlier on during the Mass, I was speaking about the massive and uh, the impressive decorations in St. Peter's Square, that is the courtyard uh, just in front of the Basilica. Today, St. Peter's Square has been turned into a beautiful garden. The flowers are arranged as a befitting backdrop to the special day on this, the Resurrection Day of Christ. We have the florists to thank in the Netherlands. They have generously contributed these flowers. They are 35,000 flowers and plants all shipped from Holland to the Vatican. This is something that the Dutch florists have been doing for the last 39 years. The floral tribute started uh, by the Dutch florists began in 1985 with the beatification of a Dutch Carmelite saint, St. Titus Bransma, St. Titus was beatified in November 1985, and he was a martyr 
faith and you will then canonize a saint on 15 May 2022 by Pope Francis. The design of the floral arrangements in the square was put together by those who work in the Vatican Gardens and the environmental service of the Directory of Infrastructure of the Vatican City State. All of these were done under the direction of Daniela Canu, who worked in collaboration with the Dutch Forest and a group of biotechnology and forestry professors from Slovenia. No doubt their hard work is showing. On your screen, you can see we have the Swiss Guard, members of the Purple Swiss Guard, and the band, all in bright ceremonial attire. Uh, this is a special day. The guards are also wearing the 17th century armor to complement the gala uniform, complete with shiny helmet and red feathers. The Swiss Guards will play uh, the national anthem of the Holy See today and they'll be performing before the Holy Father. There is also a battalion from the Italian Armed Forces. They too are here with the band and the Italian Armed Forces will also play uh, the national anthem of Italy. For the Swiss Guards, the Vatican Band, the armed forces they'll be performing military honors just before the Urbi and Orbi blessing anytime we should see the holy father emerge from the balcony that is the central loggia uh, up there where you can see the banner hanging the central loggia the balcony the central loggia in front of the basilica of Saint uh, Peter And when the Pope emerges from there and looks down, he will find himself facing uh, not only the crowds that are gathered here, but also a formation, as I have said, of the Pontifical Swiss Guards and the battalion representing the Italian armed uh, forces. With the Orbi at Orbi blessing, Pope Francis will also grant a plenary indulgence to the faithful, that is, those of you who are watching or listening uh, to this broadcast, we have the opportunity to receive an indulgence. An indulgence is not a quick ticket to heaven, as St. John Paul once said. It is an aid for the real conversion that leads to eternal happiness. An indulgence then is the result of the abundance of God's mercy, which he offers to humanity through Jesus Christ and through uh, the church. For us to receive this indulgence with a blessing, uh, the reception of the indulgence therefore depends on one turning away from sin and converting. Uh, in other words, there are some conditions to receiving the, the indulgence. These include a spirit detached from sin, sacramental confession as soon as possible, at least within the next 20 days, Eucharistic communion, that is partaking in the Eucharist communion as soon as we have the opportunity and praying for the intentions of the Holy Father. So we all receive the, the papal blessing uh, with this Orbi and Orbi blessing, but also on top of that we have the opportunity to receive uh, the indulgence, which is conditioned to uh, detachment from sin, uh, going to confession, receiving uh, Holy Communion as soon as possible, and praying for the Holy Father's intentions. So you see now, right, the procession beginning, uh, indicating the arrival of the Holy Father to start the Urbi et Orbi blessing. There are two cardinals who will be standing with the Holy Father, one is Cardinal, is the Cardinal Protodicon, who will introduce the blessings. 
Today the Cardinals are Cardinal James Michael Harvey, the Archpriest of the Papal Basilica of St. Paul's outside the walls, and Cardinal Lorenzo Baldessari. He is the Secretary General Emeritus of the Synod of Bishops. representing the Italian armed forces are now performing before the Holy Father and they will also play the Vatican National Anthem, uh, the Holy See National Anthem as well as the National Anthem of the Very impressive colors of the Swiss guards wearing their 17th century armor, shiny helmet and feather. For oh, on this special Easter day, the Lord is risen, the greatest feast for Christians. We now Cari e sorelle, buona Pasqua. From the, from the <coughs> so, dear brothers and sisters, happy Easter. Oggi Today, risuona in tutto il mondo l'annuncio partito 2000 da Gerusalemme. Gesù Nazareno, il crocifisso, è risorto. La Chiesa, la chiesa rivive lo stupore delle donne che andarono al sepolcro all'alba nel primo giorno della settimana. La tomba di Gesù era stata chiusa con una grossa pietra e così anche oggi massi pesanti, troppo pesanti, chiudono le speranze dell'umanità, il masso della guerra, il masso delle crisi umanitarie, il masso delle violazioni dei diritti umani, il masso della tratta di persone umane e altri ancora. Anche noi come le donne like discepoli di Gesù ci chiediamo una l'altra chi farà rotolare another. via queste pietre ed ecco la scoperta del Martino di Pasqua la pietra, quella pietra così grande è stata già fatta rotolare. Lo stupore delle donne è il nostro stupore. La tomba di Gesù è aperta ed è vuota. Da qui comincia tutto. Attraverso quel sepolcro, quel sepolcro vuoto, passa la via nuova, quella che nessuno di noi, ma solo Dio, ha potuto aprire. La via della vita in mezzo alla morte, la via della pace in mezzo alla guerra, la via della riconciliazione in mezzo all'odio, la via della fraternità in mezzo all'inimicizia. Fratelli e sorelle, Gesù Cristo è risorto e solo Lui è capace di far rotolare le pietre che chiudono il cammino verso la vita. Anzi, Lui stesso, il vivente, è la via, la via della vita, 
de la paz, de la reconciliación, de la fraternidad. Lui ci apre il passaggio umanamente imposibile, perché solo Lui toglie il peccato del mondo e perdona i nostri peccati. E senza il perdono di Dio quella pietra non si toglie, senza il perdono dei peccati non si esce dalle chiusure dai pregiudizi, dai sospetti reciproci, dalle presunzioni che sempre assolvono se stessi e accusano gli altri. Solo Cristo risorto, donandoci il perdono dei peccati, apre la via per un mondo rinnovato. Solo Lui ci apre le porte della vita, quelle porte che continuamente chiudiamo con le guerre che dilagano nel mondo. Oggi vogliamo anzitutto lo sguardo verso la città santa di Gerusalemme, testimone del misterio della passione, morte e resurrezione di Gesù, e a tutte le comunità cristiane della Terra Santa. Il mio pensiero va soprattutto alle vittime di tanti conflitti che sono in corso nel mondo, a cominciare da quelle di Israele e Palestina e in Ucraina. Cristo risorto apre una via di pace per le martoriate popolazioni di quella regione. Mentre invito al rispetto dei principi del diritto internazionale, auspico uno scambio generale di tutti i prigionieri tra Russia e Ucraina, tutti per tutti. Inoltre, faccio nuovamente appello Inoltre faccio nuovamente appello a chi sia garantita la possibilità di accesso agli aiuti umanitari a Gaza e soltanto nuovamente a un pronto rilascio degli ostaggi rapiti il 7 ottobre scorso e a un immediato cessate il fuoco, fuoco nella striccia. Non permettiamo che le ostilità in atto continuino ad avere gravi ripercussioni sulla popolazione civile ormai stremata e soprattutto sui bambini. Quanta sofferenza vediamo negli occhi dei bambini. Hanno dimenticato di sorridere quei bambini in quella terra di guerra. Con loro sguardo i bambini ci chiedono perché, perché tanta morte, perché tanta distruzione. La guerra è sempre una surdità, la guerra è sempre una sconfitta. Non lasciamo che venti di guerra sempre più forti spirino sull'Europa e sul Mediterraneo. Non si ceda alla logica delle armi e del riarmo. La pace non si costruisce mai con le armi, ma tendendo le mani e aprendo i cuori. E fratelli e sorelle, non dimentichiamoci della Siria che da 13 anni patisce le conseguenze di una guerra lunga e devastante. Tantissimi morti, persone scomparse, tanta povertà e distruzione aspettano risposte da parte di tutti, anche della comunità internazionale. Il mio sguardo va oggi in modo speciale al Libano, da tempo interessato da un blocco istituzionale e da una profonda crisi economica e sociale, aggravate ora delle ostilità alla frontiera con Israele. Il risorto conforti l'amato popolo libanese e sostenga tutto il paese nella sua vocazione ad essere una terra di incontro, convivenza e pluralismo. E un pensiero particolare rivolgo alla regione dei Balcani occidentali, 
where significant steps are being taken towards verso integration in the European project. The differences ethnic, cultural and confessional differences not be not a cause of division, but rather a source of enrichment for all of Europe and for the whole world. Parimenti incoraggiano la Armenia e la Serbian perché con il sostegno della comunità internazionale possano proseguire il dialogo, soccorrere gli sfollati, rispettare i luoghi di culto delle diverse confessioni religiose e arrivare al più presto a un accordo di pace che sia definitivo. Cristo risorto apra una via di speranza alle persone che in altre parti del mondo patiscono violenza e conflitti, insicurezza alimentare, come pure gli effetti dei cambiamenti climatici. Il Signore doni conforto alle vittime di ogni forma di terrorismo. Preghiamo per quanti hanno perso la vita e imploriamo il pentimento e la conversione degli autori di tali crimini. Il risorto, il risorto assiste il popolo haitiano affinché secino quanto prima le violenze che lacerano e insanguinano il paese e adesso possa progredire nel cammino della democrazia e della fraternità. Dia conforto ai Rohingya, afflitti da una grave crisi umanitaria e apra la strada della riconciliazione in Myanmar, lacerato da anni di conflitti interni, affinché si abbandoni definitivamente ogni logica di violenza. Signore, apra vie di pace nel continente africano, specialmente per le popolazioni trovate in Sudan e nell'intera regione del Sahel nel corno di Africa, nella regione del Kivu, nella Repubblica Democratica del Congo e nella provincia di Capo Delgado, in Mozambico, e faccia cessare la prolungata situazione di siccità che interessa vaste aree e provoca carestia e fame. Il risorto faccia risplendere la sua luce sui migranti e su coloro che stanno attraversando un periodo di difficoltà economica, offrendo loro conforto e speranza nel momento del bisogno. Cristo guida tutte le persone di buona volontà a unirsi nella solidarietà per affrontare insieme le molte sfide che incombono sulle famiglie più povere nella loro ricerca di una vita migliore e della felicità. In questo giorno in cui celebriamo la vita che ci è donata nella resurrezione del Figlio, ricordiamoci dell'amore infinito di Dio per ciascuno di noi, un amore che supera ogni limite e ogni debolezza, eppure come è tanto spesso disprezzato il prezioso dono della vita. Quanti bambini non possono nemmeno vedere la luce? Quanti muoiono di fame o sono privi di cure essenziali o sono vittime di abusi e violenze? Quante vite sono fatte oggetto di mercimonio per il crescente commercio di esseri umani? Of human beings. Fratelli e sorelle, and sisters, nel giorno in cui Cristo ci ha resi liberi della schiavitù, della morte, esorto quanti hanno responsabilità politiche perché non risparmino sforzi nel combattere no il flagello della tratta di esseri umani lavorando istancabilmente per smantellare le reti di sfruttamento e portare libertà a coloro che ne sono vittime. Il Signore consoli le loro famiglie, soprattutto quelle che attendono con ansia notizie dei loro cari, assicurando loro conforto e speranza. 
posta la luce della resurrezione, illuminare le nostre menti e convertire i nostri cuori, rendendoci consapevoli del valore di ogni vita umana che deve essere accolta, protetta e amata. Buona Pasqua a tutti. Very powerful is the message there coming from Holy Father Pope Francis on this Easter day. And now we prepare to receive the blessing. The Cardinal Protodicon announces the granting of the plenary indulgence. <coughs> Il Santo Padre Francesco, Holiness, Francis, a tutti i fedeli presenti e a quelli che ricevono la sua benedizione a mezzo della radio, della televisione e delle altre tecnologie di comunicazione, concede l'indulgenza plenaria nella forma stabilita dalla Chiesa. Preghiamo Dio Onnipotente perché conservi a lungo il Papa, la guida della Chiesa e conceda pace e unità alla Chiesa in tutto il mondo. Preghiamo Dio Onnipotente. Santi Apostoli Petrus e Paulus, decorum potestati da autorità e confini, il si intercede in pronovis a Domini. Precius et meritis, Beate Maria e Santa Vici, Beate Michaelis e Arcangelo, Beate Ioannis e Battista, e Sant'Ornio Apostolorum Petri e Paolo, e Tonio Santoro, e Sediato Vesti e Omnipotens Deus, e dimissis omnibus peccatis vesti, per Luca Vos, Iesus Cristo, a vita materna, Amen. Indulgenziam, absolutionem, e remissionem peccatorum estron, spazio mele fruttose penitenze, cor sempre penitenze, e temendazione in vite grazia nel consolazione, santi spiritus, e finale in perseveranza nel buon insorpenico, Trivo ad voi sa misericordia di misericordia Having received the Urbi et Urbi blessing and indulgence. What a wonderful, what a wonderful ceremony this has been, accompanied by a very, very powerful message from uh, Pope Francis. Pope Francis now looking down to the courtyard. The Holy Father concluding the Obi and Obi. This also brings us to the end of this live world telecast. Thank you to Mondo Vision and some channels of Eurovision for joining us in this podcast. Please do visit the Vatican News website, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube accounts. You will find photos, summaries of the Pope's homilies delivered during these special days leading to Easter. There is also playback of the liturgy that we have had and covered in these days. On behalf of Vatican News, I would like to thank our in-studio technicians, our audio coordinators, and many technicians around the world who have made this transmission possible. And thank you to our media partners, EWT and TV Catholic Faith Network in America, Catholic TV Salt and Light, TV Uganda Catholic Television, Shalom More Television Network USA, Shalom TV India, and Sunday Shalom at Madashan TV, Sirius XM Radio New York, Luminous Radio India, Radio Maria PNG. Last but not least, uh, thank you to you, our viewers and listeners, and on behalf of the channel, thank you to technicians, panels, broadcasters of the world. Thank you, everyone.
happy Easter. Enjoy the rest of your day. Now let Jesus Christus. Praise be Jesus Christ.